Let's julienne some carrots. Now julienning carrots, I'm sure you've seen on every salad bar in your entire life, just means a really thin matchstick. You can do it with carrots, of course you can do it with potatoes, you can do it with anything. I have to say julienning is one of my least favorite cuts to do because it is such a pain, but I was taught an ancient Chinese secret. So I'm going to show you the original French way I was taught and then the better way. So first you have these beautiful carrots. Typically I would peel the carrot, but because these carrots are young and tender and frankly because they're so small and this is the magic of television, I'm not going to peel them. But take the tops off. What you would do is you would take your carrot and you make sure you have a really sharp knife. Always make sure you have a sharp knife. I sharpened my knife last night to look good for you. A sharp knife makes better cuts, it makes cleaner cuts, and most importantly, it doesn't slip off the food and cut your finger, which is a really bad look. So again, for French julienning, you cut off four edges of the carrot. So now you have a nice rectangle. You want about two inches. You cut it into eighth of an inch planks. You stack the planks back onto each other. And you go, et voila, le julienne. Now after having to practice that for like a year and a half, I had an incredible teacher named Shirley Cheng who said, oh, I'll show you the Chinese julienne. And this is the Chinese julienne. Cut off a tiny, tiny, tiny sliver just to give you a nice square edge to rest. And then here, you cut eighth inch long pieces. And then you just kind of shingle them and come at it. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Mm, 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 mm. And there you go. There's your Chinese Julienne.